So I'm working on my rear brake master cylinder and I've run into some problems which are typical of all of these that I thought I might make a short video to show uh, how it's progressing. So I have two of these that I'm doing at the same time. Then this shows you uh, what I'm starting with. Uh, that is all uh, rusted and my first goal will be to get at that snap ring in there. Um, and see if I can get that out. I, I did that with the other one that I'm working on and um, here that is here. So I've gotten the uh, actuator out and once I got the actuator out I then uh, used this plunger and pushed the piston down a bit as you can see there hoping that uh, by pushing it down it would free it up and it would pop right back up, but it uh, it has not popped back up So I'm now going to attempt to um, Get this to come back up uh, by applying uh, hydraulic pressure here um, Where the brake line would normally attach I have this bolt that I have screwed in and I'm going to cut it off short and drill a hole in it. Uh, the nice thing is I was able to, let me put the camera down here, I was able to um, take this uh, bolt that you'll recognize, it's uh, there's used in a number of places on the old gold wings, um, for example mounting uh, headlights, you screw the threaded part into the bike and then you screw a a reflector or something on to that threaded end. So here's the good news. Um, a, a, a number six metric grease gun fitting uh, threads into the end of that. So I don't have to I don't have to cut threads in there to do that. That grease fitting threads right into there as you can see. So what I'm going to do is, is cut this shorter, maybe cut it off about here, and then I'm going to drill a hole through the center of it. Um, then put this on and then once I've got that on I will apply it to my master cylinder here and attempt to uh, force grease in under pressure uh, thereby pushing the piston out here. That's the plan. I already tried applying compressed air here um, and it made no difference at all. And as you can see, the piston is uh, is pretty stuck in there. So I'm going to try the hydraulics and see if this uh, new adapter is going to work for me. I'll keep you posted. can use the nut by backing the nut off those threads and make sure that the threads are nice and clean to go into the master cylinder housing. And now to drill a hole in it. Very quickly it felt like I really only went through I don't know maybe maybe an eighth of an inch of metal. I didn't realize that the hole in that bolt went down the shaft as far as it did. That's great. Grease gun is in. Let's see what happens when I start to pump. One stroke, two stroke, three strokes, four. It's moving. There it is. Now I have to get all of the grease out of there, uh, but I think I have some ideas for that too and I'll keep you posted on that. Hmm. Seems it's hung up a little bit. There we go. Cap. The spring was all just, the spring was all just gummed up with the grease. And there comes the spring and the boot and now I've got to get all that grease out of there 
I think I push back in here and force the grease out down here. That rubber cap back in there and I'm going to just try pushing it down the shaft with this pen and to squeeze the grease out over here. I'm going to push that all out. I'll put the camera away so that I can so I'm not making a mess of that. Just reached in there with this little hook and pulled that rubber cap back out. And now I'll have to just flush it with solvent and get that grease all out of there. Pistons out, ready to rebuild. Great trick. Uh, I can't take all the credit for that. Um, I did see a video, uh, a YouTube video, where they had drilled a bolt and, done, and tapped the top of the head of the bolt. Uh, this improvement just takes a different kind of bolt that's already got a threaded hole in it. And I'll definitely hold on to this.